Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back from Project Veritas. I'll tell you, James O'Keefe's getting the job done. Yes. He is right-leaning. Can he go after one Republican once, maybe twice? So what difference does it make as long as what he's exposing is accurate? I forget what organization it was that spot checks websites, and they had Project Veritas down as unreliable, manipulative, deceptive editing. And they've changed that in the last couple of days to it's under review. That means they're pushing through. And this site that checks these sites is extremely progressive and leftist. CNN exposed. This is about Charlie Chester. Exposes CNN undercover recordings. He's the CNN technical director. He's on the right. The gentleman on the left is the head of CNN. It's fear. Like fear really drives numbers, TV ratings. If it bleeds, it leads. Now, if it bleeds, it leads. There's always been something. Sensationalizing stuff, accidents, people getting hurt. You know, but here it is, COVID. Over half a million people dead. This isn't about some shooting in a public place or disaster, hurricane, tornado, a fire, earthquake, any major disaster. This is over one half million people dead. Millions of lives ruined forever. Just fed fuel to the rioting of all summer. Billions of dollars. Tens of billions of dollars in property destroyed. Businesses that have been around for generations lost forever. COVID, gangbusters with ratings, right? Which is why we constantly have the COVID death toll on the side. It's the little counter they had on CNN that lists how many died. Let's, let's read on. This is part two. Maybe we'll go back and check out part one. Uh, where you have some other really tasty things to say. CNN director Charlie Chester reveals how network practices of manipulation to change the world. Now, I can see people have their biases. They manipulate the facts a little bit so you can get better ratings. I get that. I mean, there's some topics I have in my episodes here that don't get a lot of clicks on how many people are interested, so I don't talk about those. We're not talking about subtleties like that. We're talking about outright manipulation to sway an election to change the direction of the country. Biased, even heavy bias is one thing. Sean Hannity, who I like a lot, I watch Fox a lot, he's heavily biased. Okay, no problem. But he doesn't pretend like he's not and never said that he wasn't. There's an art to manipulation, inflection, saying things twice. It's always like leading them in a direction before they even open up their mouths. Let's read on. New York, April 14th. Project Veritas released the second installment of a new expose CNN series today featuring technical director Charlie Chester, who described how the network uses manipulation to shape public opinion and garner higher ratings. Twisting around facts a little bit sensationalizing things, those have been going on for a long time. This is way, way beyond that. Any reporter on CNN, what they're actually doing is they're telling the person what to say. It's always like leading them in direction before they even open up their mouths. The only people we at CNN will let on the air, for the most part, are people that have a proven track record of taking the bait. Chester explained. I think there's an art to manipulation, inflection, saying things twice. There's little subtleties how to manipulate people. I mean, it's enough to change the world, you know? 
reliable sources with Brian Stelter has now become a TV show that critiques Fox News only. It's like the reaction videos you see here on, on YouTube. Reliable Source is one of their main shows on CNN. It's just a reaction video to Fox. It's sick. It's crazy. Which means they, they, they've lost their way a long time ago. I think CNN really lost their way a lot in the first Iraqi war when they were manipulating things and not telling people the, Amer the Americans the truth. There's manipulation and there's lying by omission. But to outright lie directly, not just turn things, but just say, uh, Mr. Mr. Smith is a pedophile. I mean, outright blatantly lie. Anonymous sources tell us that Mr. Smith is a pedophile. Never list who the sources are. Usually only have one. Or sometimes they'll say, a person close to the White House. What, the janitor? These people don't exist. There's a difference between manipulating what someone tells you and outright lying. Like, why isn't it high enough? You know, today, like it would make your point better if it was higher. And I'm like, what am I effing rallying for? That's a problem for what we're doing that. Chester also described how CNN had used the COVID-19 pandemic to keep viewers hooked on the screen. Here's where it gets evil. It's fear. Fear really drives numbers, Chester said. Fear is a thing that keeps you tuned in. He had a covid Gang busters with ratings, right? Which is why we at CNN constantly have COVID death toll numbers on the side. Chester said Jeff Zucker, the network's president, will call the CNN newsroom during live segments and order the staff to keep COVID death tolls on the screen that captures viewers' attention. Chester admitted the special red phone rings and this producer picks it up. You hear murmurs, and very often they would put it on speaker. And it's the head of the network being like, there's nothing that you're doing right now that wants me, wants me to stick. But the COVID death toll numbers back up because that's the most enticing thing we had. So put it back up. Chester would not explain how his network manipulates the public and attempts to hide their tactics in order to be successful in achieving personal political agendas. I'm a little bit older. I remember Walter Cronkite, and he was as liberal as they came. And he knows just a tiny bit of bias, but very little. The man reported the news, 99.9% .9 of it. His bias was so small, he could barely detect it. The Huntley Brinkley uh, News Hour and all those guys, even Dan Rather, who turned out to be a real piece of crap, he was a liberal too, but he reported the news 99% of the time, honestly. These guys don't report the news 2% of the time, honestly. No one ever says these things out loud, but it's obvious based on the amount of stories that we at CNN do. The fact that we have a segment called The Good Stuff, which is a feel-good thing, but the dedicated moment at the end to almost be ice cream to uh, avalate everything you've been through. Something sweet to end it with something everything else is doom and gloom. There's no lie and they'll manipulate and they'll make, if you go outside, you're going to die. You visit grandma, you're going to die. You go to school, you're going to kill grandma. You go outside and just look around, you're going to die. You go to work, you're going to die. You open up your business, you're going to die. And then they show the numbers clicking on the screen. It's disgusting, and it's wrong. Is it unlawful or illegal? I don't know. Probably not. But James O'Keefe and Project Veritas are doing stellar work now. They were seen as the outliers for a long time, as the tinfoil hat lunatics. Not anymore. They are suing the New York Times and it got past motion to dismiss. My understanding in cases like this, 
when a media organization is sued by someone or an organization that never gets passed, motion and dismissed. They said it was eight times in 50 years. Now they got one. There's a crack in the door. And the good guys are getting in. And they're exposing these monsters for what they really are. And that explains about James O'Keefe. Let's go back and maybe we can check out part one. But I wanted to show how they manipulated, manipulated death by their own countrymen, their own people. This is part one. Same gentleman, Charlie Chester, undercover video. If it wasn't for CNN, I don't know that Trump would have got, got voted out. Look what we did. We got Trump out. CNN director admits network engaged in propaganda, propaganda, which is lies, to remove Trump from presidency. Our focus was to get Trump out of office. I came to CNN because I wanted to be part of that. Now, is he working for the DNC and getting paid by the DNC? No. I can understand if he was. I can understand if he worked for one of the PACs that helped Democrats. All right, I get it. But CNN? CNN. Let's read part of part one. Chester, Trump's hand was shaking or whatever, I think. We brought it in so many medical people to tell a story that was all speculation. He was neurologically damaged and he was losing it. He's unfit to you know whatever. Fill in the blank. We were creating a story there that we didn't know anything about. That's what I think. That's propaganda. And they brag about it. Patrick Veritas released a new video today exposing CNN director Charlie Chester, who admitted that his network engaged in propaganda to benefit Biden's candidacy during the 2020 election to the detriment of the then President Trump. Chester also said CNN had, had a predetermined agenda when reporting on COVID-19 and climate change. That's another one. Another farce. We're all going to die in 10, 12 years if we don't do something now. If we don't turn around our whole entire economy and make it in a socialist type economy, we're all going to die and the world's going to end. What a crack of crap. During the conversation with a Veritas journalist, Chester boasted, about the impact the network had in determining the outcome of the presidential race last year. Look what we did. We got Trump out. I'm 100% going to say it, and I believe 100% it wasn't for CNN. I don't know that Trump would have got it voted out. I came to CNN because I want to be part of that. Now, is this guy trying to impress a, a young lady because he's trying to get laid? I doubt it because you wouldn't admit that you got ratings and almost took joy out of the number of people that died. He's bragging. Journalist, I guess I have a confession. I worry about Biden and his health, I guess. CNN, you're in news health? Journalist, no, what? No, I mean Biden, our president. Oh, his health. I want to take care of him and make sure he's okay. He is definitely, the whole thing of him running during the entire, like, run for the campaign, showing him jogging, is obviously deflection of his age. And they're at CNN trying to make it like, oh, I'm healthy. Is that what we did? I don't know. Like, what do you mean? He would always show shots of Biden jogging and that he's healthy, you know, and him in aviator shades, like you paint him as a young geriatric. Chester went on to say the COVID-19 medical coverage should be coming to an end in the near future. He added that CNN is already preparing its shift in coverage to push and promote climate change fear. I think there's a COVID-19 fatigue. So like whenever a new story comes up, there are CNN's going to latch onto it. They've already announced in our office that once the public is, will be open to it, we're going to start focusing mainly on climate. Chester says... It's going to be our focus. Like our focus was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying it, that's what it was, right? So our next thing is going to be climate change awareness. What does that look like? She asked. I don't know. I'm not sure. I have a feeling it's going to be like constantly showing videos of the climate and ice, the weather warming up, 
and like the effects it's having on the economy. For those that didn't know, uh, seems paradoxical, but it's true. The ice ages we've had, and we've had multiple ones, dozens of them over tens of thousands of years, mostly affects the northern hemisphere from basically North America all the way across to uh, Eastern Europe. Not so much Russia. The Atlantic Ocean has a current that goes round and round and brings warm air up or warm water up and around through England and back around to Africa and has a loop. That's why England says it has a moderate climate. But more fresh water that's dumped into the Atlantic, the slower that changes, that moves around, I should say, in a oval shape. And when too much fresh water is put in, it shuts down and it causes an ice age. So global warming actually causes an ice age. You can look it up if you think I'm deceiving you or lying. I don't know. I'm not sure. I have a feeling that's going to be like constantly showing ice and warming up and little effects is, ha- and effects is having on our economy. Who decides that? Head of network. Who is that? That Jeff Zucker? Zucker, yeah. I imagine he's got his counsel, and they're all, like, discussed, like, where they think. So that's, like, the next pandemic-like story that will beat to death. But that's one, that one's got longevity. You know what I mean? There is a definite ending to the pandemic. It'll taper off to a point that's not a problem anymore. Climate change can't take years. So they had CNN will probably be able to milk this quite a bit. So climate change overload. Be prepared, it's coming. Climate change is going to be the next COVID thing for CNN. So you think it's, it's going to be just like a lot of like fear of the climate? Yeah, fear sells. They want to take our entire economy, the largest economy, the richest country in the world, and take our entire system and tear it to pieces, all for global climate fighting. It's a lie. It's a scam. When AOC introduced the Green New Deal, the head of the staff in her office quit and was very candid in an interview. The Green New Deal is not about climate change or the prevention of it. The Green New Deal is about upending and changing our entire economic system, i.e. socialism. And they are helping them for clicks and ratings and money. It's disgusting and it has to stop. I don't know if any laws are broken, frankly, I don't know. But the one thing that'll stop these guys, stop clicking on their sites. Stop watching their shows. There's bias. There's your point of view. There's really extreme bias. And then there's these these things here. Not just show bias, but actually they know. They all know and they're educated people. This is is destroying their own country. And they don't give a damn. They don't. Does Charlie Chester here make any more money if ratings go up for CNN? Probably not. He's just a useful idiot. It's, it's, it's disgusting and despicable. Trump wasn't perfect. Far from it. They didn't have to make up things. You could have ran a decent, clean campaign. And now social media is paired with these guys, MSNBC and others. And with all that manipulation, all that deception, all those lies, all those election laws changed. Everything they did constantly on Trump 24-7. Two scoops of ice cream instead of one. Feeding fish in Japan, just ridiculous stuff, pounding. In the Electoral College, they won by this much. Two and a half million votes in Arizona, lost, Trump lost by 11,000. Less than 1% in Pennsylvania and other swing states. And all of that, billions of dollars of free advertising for the Democrats 
They still barely beat them. That's why Democrats are in panic now, and they're trying to get all these things passed, i.e. stacking the Supreme Court. We're in trouble, folks, and these guys helped them. Knowing it was destroying their own country, these people are traitors. Traitors. And I wish to God they could be tried in a court of law and do what they do to traitors, but it won't happen. Fair trial, of course, unlike what they do. Get a fair trial. These people are traitors. These people are the insurgents. Not the couple other ha- ass hats that acted stupid at the Capitol. These are the people that are the insurgents that are destroying the country. It's about time they were called out. People wake up and pay attention. It's your country. These guys have, they're rich, they don't care. They're part of the elites. When the country goes to crap, they'll be fine. But those of us that do the everyday living and dying in this country are the ones they're going to pay. They cause enough damage already. Enough is enough. I hope Project Veritas has many other things coming out. Because now it's breaking and they can't stop it. Time will tell. Say your prayers. You're going to need them. And until the next time, folks, goodbye and good luck.